I paid a grand total, these are so heavy, I paid a grand total of £59 for this Xbox One X on eBay. Pretty good condition, a few marks on the top of the console, but nothing too severe. On the back, there is a little bit of a crack, but I still think £59 is a reasonable price for this console. And in today's video, we're gonna try and fix it. Now, on the actual eBay listing, the reason why it was listed as faulty is the console does not boot up and it may have some kind of power fault. Before we continue any further, you know the golden number one rule when buying from eBay, and that is to test the items that you buy before assuming that that is the fault. There's no point in plugging in the HDMI, so we'll just go with power, in goes the power. I'll face up to the camera so you guys can see what's going on. And we do get power, okay. Interesting. So listing said console does not boot up, may have some kind of power fault. Maybe when they said it doesn't boot up, they were talking about it doesn't go to like a uh, like a screen, like the, the dashboard. So let me just grab the HDMI cable. We're gonna put that in now as well. HDMI out to TV. We'll go over to our Elgato game capture scene and we'll see if we can see anything on the screen. So far, it looks like we get nothing on the screen. So I think the seller was indicating that maybe the console doesn't boot up and it may be caused by a power issue. But power wise, the console is still on, as you can see. So I don't think we have an issue with power. I think we may have an issue with our retimer chip. I will check the HDMI port now to see if that's the reason why we're not getting any display. So let's take a look. And if we look, I can't see any bent pins or anything, and it looks like it's in very good condition. I think this issue may be caused by one of two things, either a bad hard drive or a faulty HDMI chip, also known as the retimer. There is a way to check and see if it's the hard drive. If we go back onto the game scene and I try and put the console into safe mode, it should show us the safe mode screen, even if we have a bad hard drive. That's not always the case though, I think. It depends on how bad the hard drive actually is. I've just heard the first beep. I'm waiting for two more beeps. There's one beep. There's two beeps. Okay, do we get anything on the screen now? It's been a good 30 seconds or so and I'm still not getting anything on the screen. No indication of a console even being plugged in. Just turning the console back off and now we can strip it down. I've just taken the hard drive caddy out of the console because I do just want to quickly run over this and make sure that the hard drive is okay. In which case, I'm just going to unscrew it, plug it into my PC and run a health check just to make sure it's all good. All right, so I've just put the drive in the PC and as we can see, the health status is showing up as good. It didn't have any issues locating the drive, so I actually believe that the hard drive is fine, which would give me the impression that it is the HDMI IC. And if I refresh, I've taken the drive out, you can see that it's disappeared. So I'm now gonna disassemble the console further, take out the power supply unit, the disk drive, the fan, etc., and get it down to just the board. And then we're gonna take a look at the HDMI retimer chip and see if it needs changing. Sometimes you look at it and it looks absolutely fine, but it still needs replacing on the board. So let's do that now. Here we have the console almost disassembled. It is just time to use our favorite tool. Previous to this, I was using a screwdriver. I was trying to get the clamp out and it just made no sense. But after watching a video from the coder and seeing the tool that he uses, I picked one of these up. I've never looked back since. So easy just to literally unclip the clamp. Look at that. Don't have to worry about damaging any traces, nothing like that. Remove the big old heat sink, there we go. Let's head on over to the scope and see what's going on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This was not my job. This was somebody else that has clearly left a lot of flux on and around the board. Very interesting. First things first, I'm just gonna check over the port to make sure that the port is okay. So it looks like I've been done in here. Somebody's tried to sell it on eBay, not mentioned anything about the repair attempt. And they've caught me out like a fish out of water. But not today, we are gonna fix this. 100%. All of these ping, pins look fine, that's good news. Sometimes this little ESD filter here can actually be the root cause of no display. And there is actually a bypass method to get around not having one of these chips. However, you'll then only be able to display in 1080p, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I've seen anyone have this in 4K with bypass, but I think it's pretty evident that the issue we have is around here. Now, I'm pretty tempted just to use this retimer chip that they've got on the board. I'm just having a look and making sure that all of the caps and stuff they have around are fine and that they haven't knocked off any components. Let's get a little bit closer and inspect the job around this retimer chip. This should be close enough, which it is. All right, how are we looking? You don't actually look that bad. They've put the pin in the correct orientation because you've got the dot here and the dot on the board as well. So that's pretty good. That side is okay. How's this side looking? Uh, yeah, all right, I guess. Doesn't seem to be any mishaps or anything over here from what I can see. This side was cooking good looking. Again, looks okay. You don't have to have the joints joined, by the way, as long as they're connected on the underside, 
you should have no issues. And to be honest, it looks all right. Maybe there's not enough solder, you know. Just checking on this side as well, the final side. See, there's enough solder here, but the other, the other sides, I'm not too sure. Okay, I think our best bet here is first a clean up. So we'll take our hot air gun and we'll just give everything a nice clean. But then I'm also just gonna reflow the chip, push it down and then uh, and then go around the edges and see if that makes a difference. It's very possible that this is actually a bad retimer chip, by the way, it's highly likely, but I'll give it a chance. There we go, it didn't take long to clean up. And now we're just gonna reflow the chip. The environment work, by the way, and this comes in, I'm removing this chip and putting my own on just to save time because you don't really want to mess around with somebody else's components. But I'm not at work and I can take my time. Now we just apply some more flux, take some uh, leaded solder on the end of my iron tip and just go around the chip to make sure that everything is nice and secure and connected. Okay, we look to have an issue, which is why this might not have worked. Just looking at this pin here, it may even be a no connect, as in we might not even need it. But it might be dragging this line down if it is a no connect. Yeah, it doesn't look like it connects to anywhere. I think I actually just need to... Christ knows, I might just need to move it over. Tiny bit of flux. Just don't want it disturbing the two next to it. Let's just see if they are connected. Okay, so I've got my meter in continuity mode. That goes to there. That one doesn't, which is good. Uh, this one goes to here. And does this one? No. Okay, so we don't have those two crossing over, which is good. So if that's not interfering with it, we should be okay. One more check. No, yeah, all good. Okay, let's just inspect the job of the actual chip. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that's okay. I actually found that some of the uh, some of the solder joints were a little bit oxidized. So I don't know if that was causing the issue. That's okay, it's a little bit lopsided as well, but it's all right. And then this final side here that we had the issues with, that one looks okay, bar that one in the middle. Let's put it back together and give it a test. Okay, here we go, plugging in power. Power is plugged in. My camera is turned off because of that. Applying power to the Xbox. We have power, we have a light. Do we get a display on the screen? Have we fixed it? Or do we need to change out the retimer for another one? If that's even the fault. Okay. Okay, this is good. I don't know why I have a, a green bar there, if I'm being honest with you. I don't know if that's my capture card or whether that's a faulty retimer chip. I should be happier, I know, but I'm just worried about that green bar now. Let me sort out my capture card and see if that is the issue. Okay, I've just deactivated it and reactivated it and it's now working. However, I might need to change that in settings and hopefully that's not the retimer. That is just a case of changing it in the settings. There we go, I've just changed it to 1080p um, and it's now trying to force an update. So I'm gonna quit out of that put this console back together, give it some new thermal paste and give it a proper test. All right, I've got it all set up and what I can tell you is that we do have the option for 4K Ultra HD, but this monitor, it doesn't work, um, but it shows on the capture card that I've got that it can go up to 4K. Hold on a second. Red Dead Redemption, I don't own that game and it's got a little disc icon. Oh, update my controller. Did I overlook something here? Do we have a disc? Yes, we do, Red Dead Redemption, look at that. I've been tricked by this before. Red Dead Redemption, you have a play disc and you have an install disc. This is the play disc. So I don't actually know how much it's, it's worth, but it's, it's a nice bonus. And after my controller has done this update, we should have a fully working Xbox One X that I can put straight up for sale and make a nice little profit from. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, you'll enjoy this one where I go and fix some more Xbox One consoles. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.